you know, right up here in snow, Utah. This is important. One day you'll wake up and realize that Blanche was right the whole time. The basketball metaphors matter. Oh, they matter. So the best player who ever played in that building right there just signed a summer contract with the Dallas Mavericks. And I'll say this to the Mavericks. I'm going to send this because I have a friend who's a friend of friend who used to train here with the Mavericks. You sign Jerry Cardi and he's on the floor next year, you'll win the NBA title. You get him a, their name is Luca, who's on the second floor, look out. So basketball metaphors matter. And I want to say this, the Weber State Athletic Department, one word, one word for the last 20 years, 22 years, pathetic, pathetic, pathetic. Randy Ray was here, the talent was on this floor. I remember the first time I saw Jerry Cardi play, as a freshman, he come along the baseline and he comes in and I was doing the play by play for the radio station and he did a reverse layup and switched hands in midair and I'm like, whoa, whoa. His feet were about this high off the ground. I never seen speed like that and with both hands. I remember telling Kev, you know, Kevin and I do it, I'm like, dude, this is the best talent ever here. We'll see how it goes. He never got to play in a tournament, neither did Damian Lillard. The talent that's been on this floor in the last 16 years that did nothing, thank God Randy Ray's gone. I mean, boot camp. But Jerry, I knew this. He played in that great check league. I think they went 38-1 MVP. Jerry's three-point shooting percentage was in the league over there in Europe, 45 point something. That's higher than Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr is the all-time leading three-point shooter in the history of the NBA. Talent was. The athletic department here is a joke, but the talent is the recruiting process. They come here, they look at these mountains, they see this beautiful GE palace. They sign. So I never worried about that. Same with football. And we have a great football coach. Don't, I mean, that's different than basketball. We'll see what Eric does here. It's his team now. But uh, basketball metaphors matter. I, I say this to nausea. I was sitting in this building. Exactly. This is the building that the General Electric built. General Electric built this house. Utah Construction merged with GE. Right here, right here, right here. They built this house. I had a lifetime ticket. They sold tickets lifetime for $500 in 1977. My auntie right here, you know, I come from a family of the Blanches from all these. Kevin, if you'll sober your crazy ass up. I was already going to college then. I was a, one of those. Was, if you'll sober up and quit drinking for a while, I'll buy you one of those tickets. Okay, got a deal. Of course, she kept her in. I didn't so much. I tried, but of course, lifetime, they expired them before I expired. So much talent here. Arnie Farron was head of the committee. Arnie Farron brought all these. He's from Ott. He didn't play here, but Watt Masaka did. I had a conversation with the athletic department today about Trevon Smith, the greatest football player in the history of this school. They didn't know who he was. I had a conversation about Jerry Carding. Really don't even know who he is. If the Mavericks sign him, so Joe Bass, who's been here as long as I have, you know, I used to work for the team with the Bagman, but when they fired him, it well went to shit. Not talent wise. The talent that's been on this floor, Jeremy Sieglin. Oh my God, what a player. Joe Ballin, boy. Oh, what a player. I mean, Scotty Bamforth, what a player. Jerry Cardi, Damian Lua, I mean, I won't stop there. Barry, his cousin, I mean, so many, so many. Randy Ray admitted in his press conference that he didn't even know that Lillard was NBA caliber when I'm sitting right behind him with the scouts. He had no clue what he had, no clue, and I don't think he was really interested, but he was an X as an O guy, boot camp. This is the best player who ever played in this house, talent-wise. Barnum. Bar none, you got to go with that left. Bar none, that's saying a lot. That's saying an incredible lot. Of course, he never got to play in a tournament. They were up by seven points with 40-something seconds left when he was a freshman when they blew that game. I couldn't even bounce the ball. But anyway, that's another story. So these great tournament games. I saw Jason Kidd's last game in there. He got upset. Jesus. I saw his last high school game in Sacramento, by the way, too. God, what a talent. But they got beat here. I saw Jimmy Valvano cut down the nets. The great, great. You know, Thor Bailey was on that team. Those McCray brothers in 80, when they won it, they played in here. I mean, I saw so many great games because Arnie Fair was head of the committee. 
and his NBA rings. He's odd. The athletic department here doesn't even know who these people are, has no clue. Because it, they're, well, none of them are from here. And it's pathetic is actually what it is. So I want to get this out there. Basketball metaphors matter. One of, they have a, there's a legendary training program here because of Joe Bash. Lots of trainers around the NBA, lots of trainers are around. One of the trainers that trained for Kobe Bryant used to train here. When I used to work for Coach Baglin, he write Ruben Nemhart. What a player, oh my God, what a player. Jimmy DeGraffe, the great, great, the best coach they ever had here, Ronald Baglin. That's saying a lot, Dick Mata, Phil Johnson. People could argue, I, I, you know, if you argue with me about a Baglin or Johnson, I could flip flop, you know, the great Neil McCarthy. But Phil never got his chance, did he? Because Sloan wouldn't get his ass off the field. If Phil Johnson was coaching with Stockton and Malone, they'd have three or four rings. You know, it reminds me of Gobert and Donovan. They traded Gobert, you know, they got a hell of a deal. I mean, what they got for him, but they traded around one hell of a player. Donovan Mitchell, who I know, because I'm from New York, I flew, go ask him. I flew on the plane from New York to Utah with him. Don't feed the lion, he told me. Their lover spat they got going is pathetic. By the way, if you're going to get rid of one, I would have got rid of the other. So I think the Jazz are going to have, well, they got a young guy they're going to rebuild. Well, they got the trade to rebuild with, you know. Danny Ainge, huh? I watched Danny Ainge end his career in there. He got his ass kicked. But, you know, he did go all the way down the court in that game against Notre Dame. But So, the trainer, Kevin. Kobe Bryant's got this quantum physics mind like you. He's a genius. I says, yeah, I know. He did that press conference. Brava, magnifico in Italiano. He says, isn't it incredible how basketball will tell the tale of culture before it happens? Kobe Bryant. I did Damian Lillard's prayer. I caught, walked right up that road all the way. My car was back. I was getting my heart back in rhythm on 824. Damien, show him how it's done with that three-point shot. Walks out first one. He's never properly been used in his entire career. Not with the dirtbag trailblazers. Surely not here. If he was ever properly used, but he's, you know, he reached his peak. I don't know, but been there for a while. March 10th, exactly to the second before the Fukushima disaster the year before. Play-by-play. Play. The guys doing the play-by-play play for Montana basketball on their radio station, I'm with them at halftime. We're out. What? This game's over. As soon as this first half started, we were up by 23. They boldly wanted to beat a snowstorm. Anthony Johnson never missed a field goal or a free throw the entire second half. It was later in. Never did it before, never did it after. I had an out-of-body experience. I grew up right here, right here. It's always been rumored this is an ancient bar Shoshone burial ground. Natives played basketball. He didn't invent it in Canada with his peach basket. Natives played basketball right here for at least 18,000 years. That's an unarguable fact. Indigenous people played basketball. It's an unarguable fact. Maverick sign him to an NBA contract. Lay down your money now. They'll win the NBA title. Maybe several of them. They got the coach. They got the coach. They got his name is Luca. Jerry Harding's the greatest player who ever played in this building. Well, he didn't go to tournament. Well, you had Randy Ray for a coach. Randy Ray had no interest in winning in late February or March. He was ready for vacation. That's just a narrative fact. And he didn't. So, but Jarek's nothing but a winner. And I know, you know, Willie Soldier, he played in the Swenson gym. Ruben Nemhart. Harold Arsenault, the show. The great, great, great Angel. Those are players. Jerry Harding's the greatest talent I ever saw in here. Signing Mavericks. Signing. Stay tuned.